Thank you. I'll take it from here, Jen. Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz virtually celebrated the return of Veterans University. It's a way for veterans to gain access and information on a variety of services. Toxic burn pits benefits were also discussed. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price spoke to a local veteran looking forward to getting more access to care. Fast text, submarines, let's go. Stephen Parker served in the United States Navy and he was exposed to toxic substances on duty. 1989, I was on the USS Jacksonville. 19 years old, working on the navigation table when we went through what was referred to as shock trials. They used explosives to test hull integrity and the ability of the crew on board. He rocked us, cracked the reactor, exposed the radiation of silence for over 20 years. Parker says that dealing with his medical issues have been difficult, but he continues to fight. I have uh, kidney disease from uh, what I believe is exposure. Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz addressed how legislation he helped pass will give them better access to care. Parker hopes this will help him. And if they were exposed to radiation, to uh, burn pits, uh, or if they served in one of the five countries that uh, Agent Orange exposed Vietnam veterans are now eligible for. Those five countries are Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Guam, American Samoa, and Johnston Atoll. Parker did not serve in these countries, but he does suffer from toxic exposure. You know, uh, I served uh, not for me, and I know that a large community veteran is going to say this. I will sacrifice myself to make sure that my brothers and sisters get what they need. Congressman Ruiz is calling for the Department of Defense to stop using burn pits so service members will not be exposed to these toxins. They'll still be um, uh, delayed casualties of war, dying from cancers, or, or being 100% disabled on oxygen due to respiratory illnesses caused by their exposure to burn pits. Some veterans, like Parker, are trying to remain hopeful. I'm excited to utilize what's going to be available. And we're at the first step, so I'll stand by and see what's available, and I'll definitely be ready. In Palm Desert, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3. A new report from the Washington Post tonight saying materials seized from former President Donald Trump's Florida home.